Desert Isle Crafting. I'm Christy. Good morning everyone. How are you today? I hope everyone is doing really well and that you're having a good week. Um, today this is going to be a little bit different. I had been contacted by a gentleman from Toheto, T-O-H-E-T-O-U-S, um, from Amazon, asked me if I would review his A4 light pad. Well, I love light pads, and I could ju I jumped at the chance because, especially with diamond painting, I can't believe I diamond painted as long as I did without a light pad. It makes all the difference in the world to me. But I also thought it would be interesting to see how it would work with cross stitch in dark colored fabrics and paint by number. So here is the box. Sorry about the reflection of the lights. But I've got some storm clouds moving in, so my light's not all that great. First thing I notice on this box is soft light eye protection. Um, our eyes get bombarded by the light coming from our phones and our tablets and our TVs all the time. And they can cause so many problems. Headaches, for one. Um, so for soft light eye protection, I think that's excellent. It charges, I believe, for, and the charge is good for five hours. This is cordless, guys. I have not had, let's see, I think I have one light pad that's not cordless. That's my Cricut light pad. But as far as the other ones that I put up on my easel for diamond paintings, they've all been corded. They've all broken. Um, so I think this is really going to be interesting to, to try out. Comes in four different colors. And right now, I believe they offer a coupon. Let's see. If you go to their Amazon store, Toheto US, a 20% coupon. You can get it in black and white and gray. Some of them come with carry bags. Um, very nice. Very, very nice. Let's check the quality on this one, though, because the ones I had that broke were not all the best quality. Oh, it comes with some goodies in here. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, take off the bag. It comes with a little instruction sheet with the electrical information on it, on how to charge it, plug it over on this side, how to use it for uh, tracing, put a picture down, turn it on, put another piece of paper over it. Wonderful for tracing. But you know one thing I noticed in addition to its weight, which is which is not heavy, but it's um, got a little bit of substance to it, is that it has a tilt. So it doesn't sit totally flat. Now, when I do a diamond painting, I can't have it totally flat anymore. It just hurts my neck too bad. So this does have a little bit of a tilt to it. It also has your rulers along the side and along the top. Let's get a measurement on the size of this. Let's see, where did I put? Here we go. Let's see what size this is. Oh, goodness sakes, I don't know what's going on with lights here. Okay. As far as size in inches, it is a little over 13 and a quarter by nine and three quarters or centimeters wise 34 and a half centimeters by 25 centimeters the actual screen size itself is 12 and an eighth inches which I believe is 30 centimeters up here no, not quite. 31 and a half centimeters by eight and a half inches or 22 centimeters. I know I could have gone by the, the, the ruler on the side. So you're looking at 30 by 21 is what it says here. If you need to use that for any of your drawing, drafting, crafting needs. Let's turn it on. So 
Let me push on the side. It has five different light settings. There's let's see, I'm a little crooked here. One, two, three, four, five. Great, great, great settings. Okay, so let's put it back down to one, which is kind of dull to me. I'm going to put a diamond painting on here, but first, this is how I would do it. Oh, and before that, I wanted to compare size with my Cricut Light Pad. So here's a Cricut Light Pad. Very, very, very good quality light pad. And just for comparison's sake, size-wise, it looks like the actual screen is not that far off when it comes to size. And when you put it on top of it, the Cricut is just a little bit bigger, and that really looks like a lot of border. It's just, This is just as nice a quality as my Cricut Light Pad is. Okay, so I would do this for a diamond painting. I have one of these racks that I got with a different uh, light pad. I'm sure some of you have seen them before. I would put it up here like this. Let me go out a little bit. Things are a little messy here right now. Okay, let me see if I can go down a little more. Okay, so we have our light pad up there like that. I have this diamond painting I'm sure many of you will recognize, the gnome, the Grinchy gnome diamond painting. Now let's turn it off so you can see. See how it changes, how well you can see it. All right, here's a normal diamond painting with no light pad underneath it. I mean, you can see what you're doing. It's not that hard. Let's see if we can take some of this plastic off. Pull it back because of the glare. I started working on the little, little Grinchy dog. Now let's try the light pad. And I'm going to bring it down just so you can see. What a difference it makes. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five. This makes it so bright, I don't even think I would need to use five. The charge lasts, I think I said, for five hours, which is a long time. Now, I don't know if that means on high five the whole entire time. But look at how easy that is to see those symbols. That makes it so easy to read. Let's go back again. That's with it off. One. Two, three. I even think three is good. Four, five. So easy to see the symbols in doing a diamond painting. So I highly recommend light pads for diamond paintings. And if you don't want it to move around, quite honestly, you can take a little clamp and just come over here, clamp it on the side. And move the diamond painting over the light pad on the areas that you're working on. Well, that was a mistake. I did have a massive A2 light pad. I mean, and this thing was huge. This thing was probably, was massive huge. And I absolutely loved it. But then it wasn't very, very good quality. And after a couple months, uh, the plug-in part did break. So I went down, I use an A3 now, but really an A4, do you really need the whole thing lit up, your diamond painting? You're really only concentrating on the area you're working on. So I think this is an excellent, excellent size. And it really helps you to see exactly where to place your diamonds. 
Okay, now let's try it with something that I just heard about that I've never actually checked out. Cross stitch. All right, people were saying, well, if you have dark fabric, you can put the fabric over the light pad. Let's see, I'll be back on this. And it will help you see the holes better. Sorry about my dogs. They're, la they're barking because the leaves on the trees are moving because we have wind. Look at that. That is awesome. This is black, 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 Ada. Um, I don't recall what size it is. I think it might be 14 or 16. It came with a kit that I, a Rioli's kit I have. And I was afraid to do it. It's a beautiful dream catcher kit, but I was afraid to do it because of the black Ada. But I tell you what, if I was sti sitting here stitching and I had this leaning up against, like I do now on a little easel stand, it would be no problem to see those holes. Oh my goodness sakes. Look how easy that you can see that. Even if your hand is underneath it, and you're stitching away. So easy to see. Let's try one more color. Okay, and this is a 28 or 20 28 count Jobelin even weave. And yes, you can see. trying to go in more. You can definitely see the holes. And that could be a huge help to somebody. Now let me turn it off. Come on. There you go. This is without the light pad. This is with the light pad. Now, I have it on the high. What a difference a light pad makes. To sit here and stitch with it, and you have the light shining through to help you see those holes better. That is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I heard about it. I didn't know if it would work. Let's try one more craft. The other thing about these two is you can also put it this way. Go out. You could always... Also stand it up and put it this way, the long way. Oh, sorry, like I've said, this is not a professional operation. You can also do it long way if you have something really long like a diamond painting or if you have something really long like a paint by number. So this is a paint by number that I have from Winnie's Picks. This might be something you might want to do flat. And I can tell you already, look at the difference. Let's turn it off. I'm going to switch. Okay. So this is a paint by number without a light pad underneath it. For paint by number, I would probably say, well, it's up to you if you want to put it on a little easel or if you want to keep it flat. Having a light pad underneath it is not going to hurt at all. Let's do one, two, three. Four, five. Wow. Does that help you see what it is you need to paint and to see the numbers? Yes, it does. You can very, very clearly see 26, 5, 6, all the edges that you need, that you have here. If you also, if you have a, a paint by number that doesn't come with a paper pattern, you could put a light pad underneath your picture and take pictures with your phone or your tablet in case you get lost along the way, you're unsure about what color a certain section is, then you have it referred to to look up. So I am loving this light pad for our crafting. 
I think this is an excellent, excellent um, way to make it easier on your eyes, easier to see. I just got stuff everywhere. Let me turn that off now. Let's see what comes with it real quick. So we've got the charger cord. The charger cord, the USB charger cord. Perfect for travel, perfect for in the car. Put it on your lap, plug it on in. I think all cars come with USB ports now. If you need it, because it is cordless, but if you do need it, you could charge it up. If you're sitting there waiting for someone or traveling on a train or a plane, perfect, perfect light pad for this. I am really loving this light pad. Hold on, I'm just trying to get it. There we go. Okay, it also comes with a pencil. Nice, nice little wood pencil. An eraser. Perfect for tracing or whatever you may need to use this for that has a pencil. A little sharpener for that pencil. And then look at these. We've got some magnets. Some little magnets. So you know how I use that clamp on that diamond painting. I am just curious. Let me lift this up. If we could use here's my thing. If we could use magnets to hold the diamond painting. So where'd he go? Okay, here he is. Okay, so we've got our little gnome. Turn the light pad back on. Oops. I don't know what I just did. I somehow turned him upside down. Oh boy. Don't trust me with a remote. Okay, so let's just check and see if these would work to hold them on place instead of the clamps that I used. Okay. Now, I'm, I don't know what they're supposed to stick to. Let's see. If I take off the protective film, will they work better? Well, that didn't work very good. Put one in the back and one behind. Yes. So if you put one in the back and one in the front, it seems to work better. Let's try that out. I don't know, I'm thinking a diamond painting might be a little too heavy. Diamond painting is going to be a little too heavy for those magnets. But a regular piece of paper especially if you're tracing something. Yeah. Put one in the front, one in the back, and it will hold it in place. Get this side on. And there you go. In fact, that works just fine by itself. Works great. Doesn't work really good with a diamond painting, but works great for a piece of paper. So that's just a nice little added bonus is getting those magnets in. So I would really like to thank Tojedo US for sending me this light pad for review. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you see how much a light pad can really benefit you in your crafting, be it diamond painting, paint by number, or cross stitch. I mean, 
that's just amazing to me with the material. What a big, massive difference that, that makes. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you could please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, I would really, really appreciate it. Um, there is that coupon at the Amazon store for 20% off right now. If you go to their listing, I'll have the listing down below. Take care. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you soon. Bye.